Tyler, what's your handicap? Ron uh, said you're a pretty good golfer. I think I'm a 7-1. I finished this summer in a 7-1. You get kind of Kurt Scholes going into a fall camp. Yeah, I think, you know, the goal is uh, offense and, you know, it's just to find your team identity and what our identity is going to be as an offense and, you know, try to figure out what we're good at, what we're not so great at and improve on those things and build on the strengths. Talk about your development over the summer, what you're learning about yourself in your game. Yeah, I think, you know, my biggest development has probably come in the leadership aspect and, you know, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, really owning the role of a quarterback and, um, you know, fully taking that on. And, uh, you know, I'd say from a physical standpoint, you know, i just say my feet. That's been something I've been working on for a while. I was having great form. And, uh, you know, I think that's improved. I'm going to continue to work on it. Marcus says challenge everything, right? That's his motto. So being in this competition and this quarterback battle with your friend, talk about the dynamics there and then how you carry that out of the football field, what that's like. Yeah, I mean, we're both really competitive. And I think everyone in this building is really competitive. And so there's sort of two sides to our friendship. There's a you know side on the field where we're super competitive, but you know we're also super supportive of each other. And if Drew does well, I mean the whole the whole Red Army is very happy. Like it's great for us. And if he doesn't do well, it's a bad day. Like it's things like that that you know we're a unit and uh, we work together and we cheer for each other's successes. And you know same thing with the downfalls. And um, you know I'd say off the field, you know we're really good friends and you know we go golfing together, we do a lot of things together, and watch film, all these other things. How much has the experience this last year for you, getting in games, big moments, how much does that help you, you know, right now at the start of camp and then also will help you during the season? Yeah, you know, I definitely think it helps. Um, you know, I'd say uh, I went from starting camp last year to just being nervous about camp and then once I, you know, got through that and then you're nervous about a game and then you get through that and then it all sort of just, you know, you knock things out of the way. and you know, you start getting used to it and more comfortable in these situations. And, uh, you know, I think I'm definitely a lot more comfortable going to my second camp than the first one. I guess this will build off of that. Maybe, like, the differences from last year's quarterback competition in your mind versus this year's. Um, you know, there was three of us. Uh, there's two of us now. I'd say that's the biggest difference. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, it's a similar competition. Um, you know, me and Drew are, you know, we compete every day. And, you know, you're pushing to make each other better. Um, I think we don't have, we don't have Jack this year, but uh, you know it's just as you know fierce of a competition. And we both work really hard and are pushing each other to you know be the best quarterback we can. What did you learn from Jack last year? I think the biggest thing I learned from Jack was how he he, he went through every day like a pro. Um, you know, and if he treated every single day, he'd go to bed early, get get enough sleep. Um, I roomed with him during camp last year, so I kind of been sticking to the Jack Cohen routine right now. Um, goes to bed early, wakes up tries to be the first guy at the building. Um, not right now, we have shuttles, so you can't do that. But uh, watches film in the break, you know, does all the things and watches film after. So um, I would say that's probably the biggest thing I've been through camp. And then how different is your game, you feel, from this point last year to this point this year? Yeah, I think I've definitely made improvements. And I think um, I'm a lot more prepared now than I was last year going into camp. Excuse me. And uh, like you can build confidence off being prepared. And confidence is a huge part of, you know, playing quarterback. Sorry. And, uh, you know, now that I'm more prepared, I can have more confidence. And when you have more confidence, you play better. What's it like having a guy like Michael Mayer as a target? It's awesome. I'm really thankful we have. Tyler, what's been your observations of some of the other guys on offense through these first two days? Who's come along and some guys that you felt, you know, you're really building a strong bond with early? Yeah, uh, my roommate, Jaden Thomas, you know, I think he's been really good. He's shown a lot. Um, I would say, you know, Tobias, both the new tight ends, um, Eli and Holden. Um, Jabron's done a really good job. Um, you know, I'd say, like, almost all the, you know, pretty much all the, uh, the new freshmen who came in this summer have been doing a really, really good job of, you know, merging in and, you know, attacking this camp. And um, I think they're all going to be really, really good. Where have you seen Zo kind of grow in his game? Yeah, he's grown a lot. Um, you know, he's become, he plays really fast now. Um, when he first came in, the thing was like trying to get him to, he's so, so fast, such a good athlete. I know for the coaching staff, it's like, how can we make him play that way? And now he's, he's playing that way, and he's playing really, really fast and really attacking all his routes. He runs really good routes, super fast, and he's hard to guard, and, you know, he's got great hands. So um, Zoe's done a, you know, really good job. He works so hard. Um, you know, I'm really happy to see how far he's come.
And then touching on the leadership stuff, um, has finding your voice been a challenge for you or has that come kind of natural? Yeah, you know, um, throughout my life I've always been, you know, somewhat of a leader and, you know, growing up and everything you do. Um, and then when you get here, you come in as a freshman and, you know, you, you don't want to, you know, impede on anyone or do things to, you know, overstep, things like that. But now I'm in more of a position where I can really take that leadership role and run with it. And so um, now sort of the natural leadership is coming out. And, you know, you, gotta, you still got to find your voice on the team and your role and, you know, how to connect with certain guys. And so I think that's a good time for camp and what that's going to do. I know he's the guy you're competing against, but tell us what Drew's strengths are as a quarterback. Yeah, I would say Drew's, Drew's really smart. Um, he's uh, <laughs> sneaky athletic. Um, people don't think he's as fast as he is, but he's, he's really fast. Um, you know, Drew has great arm and uh, he's super accurate. With how strong this offensive line could be this year, what does that do for your game in terms of balancing staying in the pocket and maybe going out and running? Yeah, and I think uh, the offensive line is going to be really good, and they are really good. And, uh, you know, I think on some of the plays from yesterday, I was watching the film, I had more time in the pocket than I thought I did. And so I, you know, get the ball out a second, half a second too early because, you know, just naturally you're used to, you know, all that, when that cl clock in your head hits, you know, you get the ball up. But, you know, it's just really about staying calm in the pocket. Maybe, you know, if I got Mike working on a route downfield, you know, I know he's going to win. So we half a second throw at him and he'll get it. Good. Thank, Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Al.